All right. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. All right. We have Matt D. Smith here, the one and only. How's it going? Good to have you, man. Good to have you actually back. Yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah. So when was the last time you live streamed with us? One of our one of our uh, first XD UI That was streams. last year in December, I believe. In December. Yeah, yeah, man. That's good. Well, it's yeah. good to good to have you back. That's awesome. So hello, everybody. Oh, it was the XD release on Windows. That's what it was. That was really cool. We're both working on a Mac, but again, everything yeah. we do is gonna is available on Windows, which I think is super cool. Cause we spent all last year, by the way, like getting Windows up to parity with Mac. And now what I think is gonna start happening is you're gonna see like a lot of like rapid development is what's yep. gonna go happen going forward. Uh, but again, this isn't about XD. This is about basically UI, UX, designing some cool stuff. So welcome, everybody. Miriam, Fernando, just reading out the chat. Ahmed, hello. Always curious says where uh, people are from. We're here in San Francisco. Matt, where are you from? Where'd you fly in from? I flew in from Atlanta. Atlanta, Sweet. Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. That's where, you, that's where you call home, huh? Almost. <laughs> I live in Athens, Georgia, but Atlanta is the closest airport. Right. So oh, the that's, big airport. That's that right. That is good. Cool. Well, cool, Matt. Good having you here. Uh, we have a. I think this is really cool what we have going on. So this is the first time. So you're full of firsts. You're always part of our firsts, it seems like. Uh, but nonetheless, um, if you are just tuning in, and uh, again, shout out to uh, Shauna X and Kathleen, which will be with us tomorrow morning as well, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're gonna tackle this creative brief. Uh, I'm just kind of reading out where people are from. We got as far away as Germany, Northern France, France, <laughs> Colombia. Laura, I love Colombia. She's I Greece, Virginia, that. Morocco, Guatemala. Morocco, Whatever. Morocco in the house. We've got the planet Good. covered. Good. Good. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go. Even beyond that is the plan. So beyond planet Earth. Beyond planet Earth is the plan. So let's let's talk about this fancy creative brief that we have. First time that we've done this. So we you do UX UI. You 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 have a graphic design background. Is that correct? Yep. That's cool. Uh, we had Sean who's an illustrator, and we have motion design and then some more graphic design this afternoon, uh, but all based around this theme of utopia. So. Um, this is the theme. The theme is Utopia. Basically, we've all of a sudden discovered this new planet, and it's called Utopia. And it's gonna, it's, it's, it's fantastic. But you don't know that yet, because we need to not only market it, but tell you about it, and tell you about what the uh, planet contains. But this is the brief that we're tackling across all these different disciplines. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Okay. Does that sound good? Jean Eric's in the house. Gabby. Hopefully that works. Ty. From Nigeria as well. So that's cool. So who wants to come with us to Utopia? This is our creative brief. We're encouraging you to actually create something today as well. All you need to do is just go ahead and take a look at the contest tab right uh, beyond the chat. There's the contest tab. Uh, the theme is Travel to Utopia. We encourage you to download the creative brief, which you just saw, okay? And uh, essentially make an app that is related to traveling to Utopia using Adobe XD. You just hit share, you take that link, you just follow the contest instructions there. And uh, so feel free. We are actually going to, in about an hour and a half, that's when we're gonna review all of those, uh, those prototypes. So that's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. And again, we have it right over here, folks. Zoop. There it is. That's the contest. You can check out the brief that we just showed as well. So that's what we want you guys to do. And uh, just use that bit.ly to submit it. So an hour and a half, that's how much time they have. We have a job to do as well. We do. Right? We got some work to do. We got do. some designing to do. We got some designing to do. No, am I just gonna do like the hovering art director thing and tell you what to do? <laughs> you could. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you want I'll it do done it. horribly, then yeah. <laughs> if you want to be this guy. Oh, we actually have the hovering art director guy there. Oh, you, we didn't have him last time. I don't did think we? so. Yeah. Make it more interactive. 
Oh, it just so happens that that's our plan today. All Thank right. you very much, mister. Oh, give him away. All right. Let's tackle this. All right, so what you got going it. on here, my friend? All right, so Utopia. I started brainstorming some ideas about what it would be like to travel to a new planet. And since I'm doing the user experience design, I, I decided that this would be like a mobile app. This will be an iOS app because mainly because that's what I use. It's easier to design for what you have, you know, available in your pocket. So I'll use the XD mirroring tool for, for iOS. And I kind of started brainstorming some features that would be in an app that you would use on a new planet. Okay. And so I've like got, it. I've got a few of those here and, a, and I, so I'm going to, I think what would be fun is I'm gonna go through some of these features and start to kind of develop the content structure for the app, but also get some feedback from everyone else on maybe some suggested suggested features or just some ideas that I could put into this. I've got two or three, okay. but I wanted to leave it open for suggestions so they could, you know, we could add those in and then we can start talking about user flows and how we would design for each one of these. How would we would prioritize these features over some of the others, so. Mm -hmm. So some of the ones I've got here on my little scratch pad. So I was thinking we could have, you know, it could be almost like gamified in a way to where you, once you land on Utopia, you've never been there, so you wanna know like points of interest. Maybe there's a map. Maybe there is, you know, the top 10 places or the top three places you need to visit mm -hmm. based on some non-invasive blood scan as soon as you get to the planet. You know, we're thinking yeah. like, all things are possible so it here. Knows, it knows a lot about it you. It knows a lot this about app. you. So you've already kind of got, maybe gone through past that part, essentially. Yeah, so we don't necessarily have to do a bunch of uh, user scenario, user stories, because we're just kind of assuming that when you mm -hmm. get to Utopia, the app, it's gonna know, for the most part, what you're, what you're all about. This is and good. So and we want to know what everybody's all about too here because as, as we get into the details, like, and again, maybe maybe this, based on your, pro, we'll just call it your profile or whatever, it knows that you like nitro coffee, for instance, Gabby. Yeah, she might be referring come, to this. Come to uh, Adobe headquarters and yeah. we'll pour you a... Uh, we'll gladly a give you a... Soft knock tank. Yeah. <laughs> a free glass of cold brew coffee, if that's what this is. <laughs> it's what mine is. <laughs> So yeah, think about that. That's kind of interesting. So it knows about you. It's like, hey, you know, these are your points of interest. We know you like nitro coffee, um, maybe even at that time of day. And then in the afternoon, we know you go for like uh, some sort of like a juice or something. Would it know things like that? Yeah, we could throw that in there. Let's go nitro coffee. Yeah, I like that. Plus juice. So I think- And this is a new place. So you really don't know where anything is. Like there's no, like there could be, I don't even know. Are there two suns? I don't know. There, there might of... be. So the idea that I'm going to, first thing I want to do is come up with like a map and some points of interest that you could get to and you could, you know, like as you get near it, you get a notification on your phone that you're inside of that area. And then you can activate the challenge for that area. Maybe one of the challenges to, you know, maybe it's like slightly gamified where you can get supplies for your trip to Utopia. Or, and maybe there's some, you know, fountain of youth kind of thing that you can get and you can you can accept a challenge and you can gain 10 years on your life. And Ooh. There's another place where you can earn self-healing powers or you can go to another place and do some teleporting with your app. Uh-huh. And so I think teleportation will be Somebody a Somebody mentioned that, that yes. actually. I think it might have been the Adobe Live team, our huge team of Adobe Live Good experts. Good job, Adobe Live team. <laughs> Good job. Is that coming from over there? <laughs> over there. Okay, nice. <laughs> Teleporter, I love it. And again, there's new, there's new minerals and things. And again, ha, did you discover that? Is there a fountain of youth there that you can go to and get, like you mentioned here, gain ten years on your life? Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna start with map, point of interest, teleportation. We may do the like nitro coffee delivery service. Okay. Um, and then if you have any suggestions for features in an app that you would use as soon as you get to a new planet, let us know and we will put those features into this fake app. It's not gonna be in the app store. This is all make make believe. No, I think it's actually all real. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. I'll just teleport <laughs> after this. 
But if there was a teleporter, <laughs> Laura, we would, I'd teleport to Columbia. And uh, yeah, I w it would actually be fun to, bandwidth's always an issue when it comes to live streaming. So if you're thinking about if you want this in your city. But uh, Utopia doesn't have any bandwidth issues. Yeah, so Utopia, I like it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get started by placing some of this just random stuff inside of this XD document. And wait for some of the feature suggestions to come in here. Ooh, let's we'll see what we a got. Translator selection. Or VR section. function, see the planet in 100 years with buildings. Translator, <laughs> a fake newsstand. I you, like you keep them coming. I'll get I'll, I'll kind of mo I will be monitoring. All right, that. you monitor that Translation Potentially there's plenty of different cultures there. What if what if there are uh, essentially like you know Beings from other planets that are there too. Maybe it's their there, utopia there as well. Be. All right, I'm gonna. I've got a, just a snapshot of a map here. I'm gonna kind of use part of this to get started with. Thinking the main section of the app will be. This will be like a split view where you have a map that you could expand, or maybe there's a list of things, points of interest, mm -hmm. and then we'll create some prototypes based on that. Now, a lot of times when I get started on actual app designs, I like to keep it really low fidelity and not worry too much about colors, um, and try to get out get the functionality fleshed out. So I'm gonna to try to do some of that up front, but also weaving in some of the color palette that we've already kind of established with the libraries, uh, some of the stuff that Shauna was already working with. Yes. So I don't always recommend getting like right into the colors and typography, but we do have somewhat of a style guide kind of started. So I'll, I'll use some of those colors and then we'll circle back through and kind of tweak it and add some more visual elements to it. Yeah, that is good. So. Essentially where that came from is I shared a CC library with Matt and the others, just so you know. Uh, but essentially, Don't want I, to open iTunes. I could easily add graphics to it and, and things too. All right, so here's my library for you. Sweet. So if you wanted to, you could come up with some images or challenges at the different points of interest mm -hmm. like fountain of youth or whatever like if we wanted to have like a, a badge or an icon or an image that relates to a certain area of interest and you could throw some of those in libraries for me okay and then when i get to that point i could use it as like a placeholder image or something okay so that's good so or even like a big background image okay like when you get there and it you know like if i call oh, you on yeah. the phone and like your name is in the full screen uh -huh. And I could do like a gradient overlay kind of and then place the location is information it, over it. Is it, is it a, so you're saying, is it, is it a, so is it a picture of a person or is it a place? It could be either one. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to start collecting a lot of that right. and then you can kind of sort through it. And then what's going to be cool is like, I'm going to drop it right in. In fact, I could actually do that directly from, that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, and I'm going to kick this off a little quicker. I'm going to get a UI kit from, I'm going to start with this Apple iOS right in here, download the XD version. Check this out. So we'll just, yeah. So here, here I am. I'm just actually on Adobe stock. This is the Utopia library that we have already shared. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and license and save that directly to the library that Matt has. So that's the plan. And again, I'm just searching for assets. Uh, hello from Haiti, Julie. Oh, welcome, Julie. Have you joined us before? Uh, I don't. I don't know Julie with two eyes. Moonier, buddy. What's up? Good to see you. Will there be some streamers about Dreamer in the future? Possibly. You never know. All right. So I'm gonna snag one of these. Since I'm since I'm designing with an iPhone 10, I'm gonna use an iPhone 10 template, so things are already scaled for me. Nice. I'm just gonna steal this to get started quickly. <clears throat> uh, Natasha's from 
Alberta, Canada. A mood island, like. That's interesting, Greg, like color hue shifts on the mood selected. I like that whole thought, like what if the, what if your profile had everything about you and it knew what your favorite color was and the app was your favorite color? That would be cool. That's kind of interesting. It kind of screws with our branding, but it's still kind of fascinating to think about. I designed and, a college football app one time for some for a client mm -hmm. that you selected your team up front and the UI changed based on like your team colors. So oh, that's really? Cool. That's awesome. It's definitely more to consider, but it can be cool to do that. All right, I'm gonna have to stop talking so I can get in design. <laughs> well, no, and I wanna like brag about you if I could. So I'm just gonna, we'll just switch to my screen. So this is uh, Matt D. Smith mds.is this is his website and uh, i love your work because again it's like super clean you can see all of your layouts right here again this totally works kind of with this whole kind of a little bit futuristic but just a very clean look uh, is what you have going on here so and again i'm just kind of scrolling through some of this looks like i can jump out to your recent work on dribble which is where all of this stuff is look right here we could just use some of these assets. I got them. <laughs> Look at that. We could just use, can we use this guy? <laughs> Forget that. We don't need, the great thing on Utopia is we don't need uh, spacesuits or anything. That's right. Because they have oxygen. They have double oxygen, which is like twice as good and less gravity. So we could, you could jump really high. Nice. That's the idea. So. Uh, yeah, so XD socks. We'll have to see if we can dig some up. I'm always surprised with how popular I those socks, socks are. You didn't get any? I don't have any uh, XD socks. All right, I'm going to text somebody, and we're going to get you some XD socks. <laughs> just, I just decided. We'll have, we'll have them bring you down some. How about that? If we, have, if we have a pair. We might only have one. Are you okay with one XD sock? I can rock you one can, XD sock. You could rock it. You, maybe, it's a, maybe it's a hand puppet or something. Um, but essentially that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of grabbing some of these cool images. Uh, some of them, I'm not going to license all of them, but I'm just going to grab some, something, you know, that we have to work with. Something that looks sort of, shall we say extraterrestrial, because it's not on our, let's go future island za. That's actually a band, if anybody knew that. Future Islands, do you know Future Islands? No. Really good. A good mix of like a modern take on 80s music. So good. I like 80s. Yeah. I love all of the sort of, I love any contemporary band that sounds very 80s-ish. So here's another one. Again, I'm just taking assets that we could potentially use. Actually, what I can do. Matt's working. Oh no, Kendra, you haven't received your socks. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, so it, it, it might take a couple weeks because that fulfillment is very, it's a very manual process. Uh, and that was probably only two weeks ago. Ooh, Gil, you have fantastic takes, taste because he does like future islands. They're awesome. Nice. Love them. So you're still look, working away. I'm still gonna, be pulling in images, finding some gorgeous stuff here, actually. Look at that, look at these. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like some of this seems very fantasy island. Maybe that's what we search for. And you needed images, excuse me, you needed specifically, um, let's go map, let's go with like places icons. Again, I'm trying to search for something pretty specific and I'm going to filter this down by vectors and see what we have there. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Look, here's only what 144. Oh, look, here's only 200 images. What kind of look are you looking for? I'm, I'm going to go with my bread and butter and just kind of go with like a dark techie 
uh, kind of interface here. Do you want it? Because there's like the thin line look. I'm going to... Uh, or we can go with more of these. Go with like more of a... If you're going for like icons and stuff, maybe like more of a solid okay. style. Okay, you got it. You got it. All right. Oh no, Gabby, you didn't get your, so we'll work on that. We'll get you your socks, not to worry. Um, just take some time. Uh, but you can easily win today as well. Just keep that in mind. Um, just select the contest tab and you could have a uh, potential of winning Creative Cloud for a year. So that's one thing that you can win. Just prototype an app traveling to Utopia. So maybe all it is, the app could, we do ask that you uh, have some prototyping in it. So it does link to a couple different screens, but hey, let's just say in the future, maybe all you need to do is hit the teleport button. You know? All right, let's see here. This will be. So Utopia is not a mind-made realm. Uh, the Creative Brief does say that it actually is a, a, it's a planet that has everything we need. And once you get there, I don't know if it's the double oxygen, but everybody's in a fantastic mood and everybody gets along, right? John Eric, I don't know what sci-fi you've been watching, but uh, yeah, it's not a mind-made realm. Oh, Gabby. Gabby didn't win the socks. Don't worry. We try to give away as like much as we can. Uh, really, as much as as much as we can get a hold of, we pass on to you. Uh, is the goal. So, hopefully that. As we start to churn out things, we gave away a lot of these guys too, as well, which is our hovering art director. He doesn't really hover. He just kind of hangs Utopia, out. In Utopia, he can hover. He can In Utopia. Hover. Oh, man. In Utopia, he can hover. I like the idea of being maybe a little bit weightless. What do you think? It feels too designed. Oh, you. You need to go to dystopia. All right. So, is that the altar? That's like the dark side of Utopia. Yeah, it's like where everything is horrible. The opposite of Utopia is dystopia. Ooh, isometric icons. Look at all these, by the way. I'm just like stumbling upon some of these. I don't know how many are here. It's actually kind of hard to see, but some of these sets are just massive. Like, I don't, we want them to be all one solid color and we want to do, ooh, solid universal icons, 784. This What's is a scaring icon me for a teleporting? Bit. Oh, that's a good question. Somebody give me a good idea for like a teleporting icon. All right. What do you think, Paul or Laura? What would be a good teleport icon? Um, target rings. I could see Natasha. That's a good way to go. UFO, like a little like saucer with a beaming thing. Oh, that's a good idea. Want me to try to, actually let's just do. I'm gonna use a text placeholder for now, but then. Teleport. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Here's what, uh... This seems to make sense as well in terms of teleporting. We have, I like this one a lot. I like the idea. It's too complex, but that's the right. Even that's, if we can get some fun. like inspiration of like the rings working mm. together, I could even draw Ooh, some. Look at this. That's fun. Too, too complex still. Ooh, look at this one. Here's some. I like the idea of like the like those rings, you know, like the guy was running through the rings, mm -hmm. like kind of going smaller. You can make totally make an icon, of, like something. Okay. An icon of just those or something. Yeah. Not the guy. Yeah. Perfect. I can. Uh, 
I can actually do that in Illustrator. But yeah, this worked for inspiration. Oh, a wormhole. Oh man, you're getting deep. The whole idea of a wormhole, there's the theory behind wormholes that will like allow you to travel forward and back in time. So if you could ever do time travel, it's all based on a wormhole. Mm. Which is fascinating by Einstein. Einstein came up with theory of wormholes. All right, this will be a placeholder until you can do a better one. It's a good place to be. I'm actually going to, I want to, I want to actually give you some random icons and then also make a teleport graphic. And I'm going to do that in Illustrator because kind of based on what we're trying to do, I could just use the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. I'm just an illustrator. I'm going to quickly do this and then just use the blend tool. Where are my preferences? From here to there. <sighs> nice. I mean, that's a start. Simple spiral will do. I don't know if you use the new, I've been using the new properties panel in Illustrator a lot, which is just right over here. It so, def definitely did like combine all of the like frequently used oh man, cause, you things know, into one space. I'm always like messing with the panels and I end up moving the stroke panel and like yep. removing it and this it just combines everything into whatever's selected. You know, in this case, just increase the stroke, making it really huge. Supposedly, in this case. Something like that. All right, so somebody's talking about tacos. Sorry. Uh, we also need suggestions of points of interest. We need like three to five points of interest that we can type in here so we can work with real data. So if you guys have some ideas of, I'm just gonna make a, a placeholder kind of component for this right now, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna look to, to the audience to kind of help me out with that. Candy Mountain. <laughs> put it in, put in Candy Mountain from Kendra. <laughs> Uh, um, Oops. What else do we have? Oh, you know what I should do is just do like a text file and then drag them in later. Yeah, it could be some, could be a resort, could be, you know, the sort of like fountain of youth, if you will. We have Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Bridge sounds very pretty. I'm into it. Is this like a... Beer Lake? <laughs> Circle of Life? This is fascinating. Circle of Life. Like, what would that look like? The would the song Circle of Life start playing as you get to the Circle of Life? Oh, that, uh, maybe. Oh, yeah, like... Uh, uh, I can't um, remember who that was. It was... Help me out here. It's not Rod Stewart. Circle of it's Life song. Elton John. Elton John. How dare us forget God. him. Cat Palace. <laughs> e Soto, you're hilarious. Universal Truth Center. Um, These are good. Gra <laughs> gravy Boat Lake. <laughs> Chocolate Strawberry Fields. <laughs> Everybody's hungry. <laughs> Temple of Infinite Kittens. We already have kittens. That in there. is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> who? Where is Temple? I'm trying to see who said that. Temple of Jan, uh, Jan Eric. John Eric. Yeah. Jan or John? Jan? Yeah. Or? Temple of Infinite John, Kittens. John that Eric. Is, that's good. 
That one's my favorite so far. Caesar, Musk E Mountain. I'm not going to Musk E Mountain, sorry. <laughs> I want to go to like, I don't know. The Oracle's that's... Temple, Black Hole. Let's go with really, 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 really dark gray hole. <laughs> not quite black. Hey, Gabby, I'm still working on the Richard Quarry logo. Forever <coughs> Spring. Oh, that's a good name for, um, you know, the um, Fountain of Youth. Forever, Forever Spring. Spring. Yeah. All right, so I'm thinking this will have a point of interest, the title. Actually, and I'll just say. Um, well, I'll leave it as point of interest. I think it'll have a small description, maybe like how far away it is from your current location. Mm-hmm. I like how miles are or being maybe, used and not the metric system. Maybe, yeah. Five <laughs> meters. I'll do five meters. We don't even know how far five meters is being in America. <laughs> I think like a meter right, is... It's like right here. Yeah, right over there. There's the fountain of youth. Everything's between five and ten meters away. We need a away. kilometer. It's a very it's small... A kilometer. <laughs> it's a very small planet. <laughs> it's really only the biggest... Really the only about five people allowed on it at a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good. All yeah. right, we will do. We will do kilometers. The mode of smoke and mirrors. All right. Point of interest. Let's give this thing a radius here. All right. I might get rid of this tab bar if we're only gonna have points of interest and teleportation. If we need, if we need, uh, if we need to bring the tab bar back in for the different sections, we could. Okay, I'm just so gonna remove maybe... it. I'm just gonna place it over here, just until we get this working out here. Yeah. So when you have, t you do have teleportation, but you'd still have the distance in case you want to walk there. Cause you gotta, otherwise your legs are gonna get like super thin. <laughs> Cause remember, you could also jump really high. I, I'm thinking this is a place where like, this is where we start to turn into aliens. Okay. How they're all like tall and thin with thin little fingers for, <laughs> and big eyes. That works for me. I don't know. Aliens are really just us from the future. You guys really came alive. Thank you, uh, Chimey, Riley. Good to see you here. I don't know if this is your first time. Thank you f so much for, you have some good thoughts in here too. Everybody really came to life when uh, you asked for names. Another thing that I really like to do when I'm- Friendly make, Jurassic uh, Park. Friendly Jurassic With little Park. mini dinosaurs. Like they're all little mini guys that run around. They're yeah. like, you they're can still alive, but you can yeah. pet them and they're nice, but they're like, well, they're climb up on They you nibble your finger. Like, Many versions of things. Uh, everybody says, everybody welcome uh, Chamey. Welcome Chamey, first timer, welcome. Clap. We hope you win something. And just to remind you of the contest, essentially hit that contest <laughs> tab, traveling to Utopia, make it an XD just like Matt's doing. You might have a chance to win. You will have a chance to win. Uh, Creative Cloud for a year added to your Creative Cloud membership if you already have one which is pretty fantastic jonas first time here as well this is so good to see jonas thank you my friend for joining us also curious as as to how you heard about this live stream because we're trying to tell everyone so all right real quick little segue to the ui stuff i'm trying out these different <clears throat> excuse me these different colors on here and one thing I like to do when I'm laying out like colors, especially if I'm not familiar with the color palette, mm -hmm. I use this little tool called contrast. Okay. And you can select the background and then select the foreground and you can make sure that your colors pass accessibility ratings. So like it's kind of oh. recommended that everything would be double A at least for text below like 18 points. There's like a whole crazy uh, 
system behind the accessibility stuff, but it's just something I like to do when I'm laying it out and working with colors for the first time, just to make sure it's not too light or too dull. Oh, that's awesome. Just posted the link in chat. That's really cool. I was wondering what that is. You have a lot of cool little... And we appreciate uh, your recommendations. Little known fact, this is an app that I made with a friend of mine. This? Contrast, yeah. What? You show off. <laughs> I'm just checking that. You're good. Everybody hear that? So contrast is what Matt made with a friend of his, um, allowing for legibility between colors, making colors accessible. And there's and there's a lot it. of great websites. Right here. We can show my screen, yeah. There's a lot of great websites that do this, you know, right out of the gate. But I always wanted just a little menu bar app that could mm -hmm. do it quickly. Oh, it's perfect. Just kind of. I love uh, sort of honestly uh, interfaceless apps. Faceless apps are nice. Ones that just work. And that's what you have to think of even as you're in UI. That's right. In that field. You know, sometimes you might think of an interface that isn't an interface at all or a solution because essentially you're providing a solutions here. You know, I think of Alexa or ESPN has an app where it's mostly notifications. You're just getting notifications on the scores of games. So, ah, the couch of no regret. <laughs> That's a great one too. I'm gonna do something with this list eventually, so just hang in there. I'll show you what, what I can do with it later. Hey Danny, you bring up a good question on the Adobe live streams. It's hard to catch them all on YouTube, Facebook, because yeah, that's a good point. So essentially on Behance.net forward slash live, we're live here basically every week, Monday to Thursday, and, or excuse me, Tuesday to Thursday, every week. We'll take a break for the holidays coming up. Uh, but essentially, that's the schedule. And on Mondays, that's kind of what you're talking about because we'll do some, we'll randomly, we'll typically stream on Mondays uh, on Facebook and YouTube. So yeah, it's 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 hard because we're streaming so much. It's it would be hard to maintain that schedule. We have a little internal one that's hard enough to keep uh, up to speed. So the name of this tool, Sh Shafquat Muhammad. Good to have you here. Is it your first time? I'm curious. This is Adobe XD 1.0 version. It's just like a, it's just a, new, it's like a newborn. It's brand new, like a month right. old. Announced and released at Max a month ago. And this is what's cool. I don't know if you want us looking at this, but we're. I'll just. You work. I'll just kind of describe right, yeah, what you're doing because I want to make stealing it a map on out you. of this uh, wireframe. Yeah. So this is awesome. So basically, right up there. Get brrr, UI kits. Boom. Wireframes. I can zoom in here if you can't see that. Get UI kit wireframes. Mm -hmm. Download these. Open it up, and. Just a good way to get started with some out of the box things. So you don't have to redesign everything when you're first getting started. Yeah, and if you're also curious about that, like there are also the uh, a number of um, like all the elements from that wires wireframe are in the assets panel. So that's another way to kind of just like peruse all the graphics. Um, Esoto would love to do streams in Espanol. Right now, we're just it's 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 English, but I like the idea of going to Bogota and Yo doing hablo it. Espanol muy poquito. Yeah, <laughs> see, sí. muy muy poquito Espanol. Por favor, donde es el baño? Uno cerveza, por favor. All the essentials. All yeah, <laughs> to to. <laughs> To, to get a to get a beer and find a bathroom <laughs> and maybe uh, order food so that'd be fantastic thank you Laura for offering your help sounds like we do have some people who know Spanish here uh, on utopia it's right. the whole idea of having uh, translation is like a whole other thing I think we'll have to talk about that I'm still trying to get this map going over here. I didn't really love the the screenshot image that I had, so I'm kind of mm -hmm. jazzing this up a bit for the 
I think that's good. So in those UI kits, 90% of the elements, if not all of them, are made in Adobe XD. So when we located this map, that's all vector, and that's why he's able to manipulate it like so. Let's see, that's my map, that's my gradient. So I've got three little pieces here. I'm trying to figure out the best, the best one. I'm also testing things like on my phone here just to kind of see the contrast because it's much different on the phone than it is on the... Do you mind? I don't know if the, uh, I don't know if the, if the, how's the, the GoPro? Good? Because can we do that since you're testing this out yeah, just so people know? Yeah, man. Not to disrupt you, no, but go for it. let's get right up in there. So essentially this is what we see on the screen. Sorry. As you move that around, look, so as you draw, you can see that it's actually updating and you're getting let's a good feel. Show the, uh, here, let's show, oh, how, yeah, like, show them both. how crazy fast this is. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And you know what, I'm actually noticing like a color difference as well. Yeah, and like- That's the, impressive. It's gonna be, you're gonna be able to use a lot you know, the contrast on the phone versus the screen is gonna be a lot different. So like I mm -hmm. always just right out of the gate test it on the device because the sizes, the colors, they're all gonna be a little bit tricky to handle unless you're actually looking at it on your phone. Yeah, thank you. That is really cool. So thank you so much. And once you have it loaded on that, uh, on your phone, you can actually disconnect it. It'll cache it. You obviously yeah. can't make the changes, but you can actually, you know, go into the other room and still click through the different screens. So. All right, I'm gonna get ready to populate these places here. So I've got the Temple of Infinite Kittens, <laughs> Couch of No Regrets. I love this. Forever Thank you Spring. so much. Yeah, these are great. The Oracle Temple, Rainbow Bridge. Uh, so this is just, this is going to be a text file, plain text. I've just saved this to my desktop here. And I'm going to just drag this thing. Is this going to be a, I think it's got to be a .txt. Add. Just make sure it's not rich text. You and like IA Writer? I do, I like it a lot. Drop this text right on top of the points of interest there. Kendra, it's kind of turning blue there. Candy Mountain oh, is I there. Missed, Ooh. I missed it. Let me do that again. That's the one thing you have to do. It well, will like, populate 50, 1,000 items. There we go. But you do have to boom. Yeah, so like now as I'm, I'm making this a little bit, this grid, this repeat grid a little bit longer. So now I can see like Temple of Infinite Kittens is much longer of a title than, you know, Point of Interest. So I need mm -hmm. to make sure that I've got plenty of room for that title to come and I can change this in place as well. Like if I wanted to show that it truncates after a certain number mm -hmm. of characters. So it's always good to make sure you drop it in. It's, it's not, good. it's not connected. It's not like this live connection. Like you're basically imported all that text and now you can manipulate it. Yeah, accordingly. totally. Now, if you, at some point I can grab a, like a bucket of JPEGs or pings and like dump them on the images too, like if you have yeah. those like fan Ooh. fantasy uh, oh. images that you were pulling up earlier. That's a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna find a bunch of fantasy images and basically the same way you've Alright, I'm gonna draw some points on this map here. Do you happen to have um, a, a Adobe, the Creative Cloud files on your desktop? Did you turn that on by chance? I don't believe I did, but I can go, do that. Go into, yeah, you gotta go to assets. Okay. Go to files, open folder. So there that's stuff that is there, that's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a folder that's going to magically appear there, and that's okay. where the assets will be. All right, sounds good. But you will have to accept this invite. That will come through here. 
a second. Okay, there at the top, see how it says invite? Oh yeah. And then accept. Oh. You're like, whatever. Whatever, Paul, I'm not accepting. Reject. Reject. This? Can I reject? Let's reject. <laughs> Nothing's in there yet, but all right, things but it, will but be. But it will be. All right, so I'm gonna keep making these little dots here. Let's get a good little, little drop shadow going there. <sighs> yes, Jamie, there might be, hopefully I'm saying your name right. There might be unicorns there. There's there little totally pet unicorns. dinosaurs I know. They're really Somebody cute. Somebody earlier said, haha, lizards. When we were <laughs> talking about the time. I know. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> lizards. I just want to see a little, I want to have a little pet T-Rex that's just really violent that I can never touch. Because <laughs> it'll claw my eyes out. No, <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get you some assets. This is going to be hard because I ultimately need to have... Let's see here. Images of places. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, HB, H2B2, this app's far away from the spirit of the compositions of Shauna. Hey, that's okay. We'll see what happens. They're two different, two entirely different people. And that's what's kind of fun about this is like, they're both given the same creative brief and to see them t being taken two different directions is kind of exciting in my opinion. Yeah, and I also think that once I get my hands on some of those files and we can kind of share some of those, we can start integrating it and we can see like kind of how it starts merging together. Yeah. And again, we are actually using different tools as well, so. Uh -oh. She was just using Illustrator. I think my, uh, we're using Adobe My XD. computer oh, is, uh, did it die? My computer may or may not have died. It did die. So we're going to go oh. back to Paul here for a second. Oh, it just restarted. So this perfect for me because now I get to grab. So I think there was like Candy Mountain. This isn't quite a mountain, but I'm actually able to sync this preview to Utopia. But that's what's happening right now is I'm just grabbing some assets to be synced to you. But my my app is still cached here, so still check it out while I'm waiting to reboot. Oh yeah, so there you go. <laughs> that's wild that that happened. It's just said, you know what? I'm tired. It's been a long, it's been a long this day. Is a very new computer, the latest MacBook. It's literally never crashed like that. Oh really? But now that I'm on a live stream, I think it makes sense <laughs> that this would be the moment that it crashes. Exactly. <laughs> okay, this is what we're gonna do. So somebody mentioned <clears throat> Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain. I'm gonna see if a Candy Mountain's out there on Adobe Stock. Oh yes, there is. Let's do illustrations too. So yes, yeah, so we have some fun ones here. So let's just sync that one and a couple of these assets. Uh, so Candy Mountain is a thing from Candy Crush. Gotcha. Oh, lovely. Uh... <laughs> Maybe we will throw a unicorn in here somewhere. Why not? What were some of the other places? That All right, I'm going to go into like hardcore redesign mode because. Oh, it didn't save it. it I didn't. I did not save it before uh -huh. the computer crashed. Yeah, yeah. But I do have a. Um, I do have a screenshot of it here. I'm going to transfer it. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Trirexicorn. Can't fall that. Thank you, everybody, for your ideas. Don't you hate it when that happens? Do you actually remember the days? I remember, like, I feel like maybe eight to ten years ago or so, my computer would just crash and I'm like, I have to rebuild everything. But now I'm so glad that uh, auto recovery is pretty much has become the norm, which is nice. So uh, automatically saving this file for you that you can recover. 
Um, XD does not have that, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, we're just calling it like most, it is. Most it's only 1.0, this is like a baby. It's brand Photoshop new. Photoshop has it, you know, like. What is this, Mitch, you say Command S? What is that? What does that do? <laughs> Can we get can we get somebody technical in here? It's like, what is this? I forgot in my excitement to hit Command S. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, what's the most amount of? Oh, we're gonna get some horror stories. Most amount of work you've lost because of not saving. The thing about it is, even once you once you lose that, uh, you know that work, it usually takes a. It's much quicker rebuilding, but it's almost like you need to shut off your brain, forget that it happened and just like recreate as fast as possible. As we look at some wonderful images of candy. So I'm syncing all of these. All these actually are going in my, this Utopia library, which is actually getting, it's looking pretty good so far, but you can see the number of items are actually syncing, so. I can uh, save those out as well. So by the way, hopefully you are working along. You have about, as I click over into Behance Live, disregard this uh, trippy thing that's happening here, but essentially we have a contest going on where you could also be creating your own travel app. So travel to Utopia, maybe it's you getting around, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's all from that contest tab and all you need to do is submit it right there. And we will be reviewing those for a chance to win Creative Cloud, and you have about 30 minutes to do that. So we encourage you to do that. After, after that, what we have going on is we have Evan Abrams doing motion design with Jason Levine. So, and then we have Christine Heron doing some graphic design. She's still probably working in Illustrator and um, in InDesign and everything, so. I think uh, somebody, Carasius, Car just recommended a place called the Valley of No Autosaves. Yes, <laughs> that's appropriate. <laughs> the hillside of eternal terabytes. So, yeah. Anita has to go do work. Come on, Anita. Come on, hang out. No, actually, we want you to don't ignore your responsibilities. If you need to get work done, we understand. We also know that you could probably uh, be watching us as well. So, Death Valley. Chamey, just, you just turned dark. This is Utopia, remember. So what is Death Valley? Death Valley is probably something different. than what you think it is. Just getting my color set back up. Pankaj lost 1,500 lines of CSS once. Mm. At least it wasn't 1,600. Yeah, <laughs> at least, look at you, looking at the bright side, I like it. I like how you think. All right, everybody, Command S saved so far. Oh, feels good, feels good. That feels good now, doesn't it? Feeling better. I don't know if I'm going to call it good. <laughs> oh, it's such, you know, man, I don't know. Oh, by the way, we're going to actually give away posters too, huh? Can we do that? Can we give away posters while you work away? Let's do it. Let's do that. What time is it? Let's check the time. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're essentially going to be doing giveaways every hour is what it comes down to. So let's do that. Kendra, does that sound good to you, Mitch? Uh, Jamie and, yes, Joseph, let's do this. Posters. So we just need you to be active in the chat. So uh, just be active in the chat. Uh, thank you so much. I think you guys have been doing a fantastic job, but here's your chance to win a fantastic poster by, say, Robzilla. No, that's not a picture of him. That's actually Mr. T, but uh, yes. Jingwei is the one in the middle. It's a pool party. And then Christine Heron, who's gonna be with us later today, did the third poster. So just say something, preferably nice. We're talking utopia. We're talking like free hugs for everyone. Like, I want Hug Island. 
but not where I actually get. I just want to feel a hug and not like actually like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it to be awkward <laughs> with people I don't know. Cause you know, it's always awkward if somebody hugs you and you don't know them. <laughs> so yes, free hug island. <laughs> Weird. It's like a ghost hug. It's a ghost hug. You want to just like this feeling of warmth as you show up. I think that's how Utopia should always feel. So, yes, Rob does rock. Jing rocks. Christine rocks. So does Evan as well. He's going to be here in about an hour. High Five Island. Thank you so much. We have the Adobe Live team working away. Um, again, at least 22, 22 guys work on the Adobe Live team. And they verify every single comment that comes through. We find one that's valid. And looks like we found a winner. Winner of a fantastic limited edition, very special poster is Munir. Munir Ilugbani. Munir Ilugbani. There you are. I miss socks. Hey, guess what, Munir? You just won a poster. So give us a hooray and we will get you that poster. And uh, it'd be fantastic. Munir, congratulations, buddy. You win a poster. It uh, will be teleported to you by one Matt D. Smith. He will teleport to your front door, ring your doorbell, hand you the poster, and then teleport out. That's right. I joke that in the future we'll probably have teleportation, but we're still going to have a hard time connecting to Wi-Fi. Probably <laughs> Like so. the simple things are going to be really, really hard. <laughs> and I, I was going to say too, even like there's still not going to be autosave in the future. Exactly. Like we're still going to have a problem of like, oh, I didn't save that file. Oh, we're getting there though. I've almost got it back here. We're working on it. And by the way, the teleportation in this app, you're only going to be able to do it once every four hours. So we're going to have a little progress bar. It's got to recharge. Maybe you can go to the uh, the couch of no regrets to increase your teleportation. Yeah. Uh, Just, can, I like it. Ability to do that faster. <laughs> I like that whole thought. So you can teleport like once every four hours, then you, you have a progress bar that slowly builds up over those four hours. Can't be using it all the time. Wow. This is... Jean Eric just revealed fascinating fact. Doctor Who is played by British actor Matt Smith. You knew this, I right? Knew you knew that. And here we are. All right. Here we've we got to put our uh, our 10 meters back in. <laughs> the nice thing is is that like actually no you just made that the asset panel too. You made all that stuff. The only thing that we didn't have to recreate is the stuff in the Creative Cloud library. That's right. All right, so I'm gonna make another grid out of this stuff. Command R, repeat grid, go. All right, now we can drag our place names back in here. And I'm getting the now images. We have, we have the valley of no auto saves coming up. <laughs> I'll try to find a valley image. Is this the same map from the flow kit? Does flow kit mean anything to you? Yes, it is. Same map. What is flow kit? It is a, uh, it's you like a little, talk about other things it's, it's a okay. little sketch library I made a couple oh, weeks ago. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. See, you are involved in pretty much anything and everything. You like, you do it all. I like, am hey, I work in sketch. equal opportunity design tool user. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
You'd like to be like design tool agnostic. Like you'll just work with whatever gets the job done. Is that That's fair? Right. That's right. Sometimes I do wireframes and Illustrator. Sometimes I do uh, prototypes and XD. Mm -hmm. You know, it just depends on what what uh, what what the situation calls for. Yeah, that's awesome. Ah, Wendy brings up a good point. She wishes InDesign, InDesign had repeat grid. I, I wish truly everything had repeat grid. Yeah, it's awesome. Like I, I wish. Once you start using Illustrator, it. yeah, right. So, Anandu gets your subscribe, subscriber email. Oh, nice. Can you get that on mds.is on your you website? You can. Okay, very cool. Right out of the gate, it's the first thing you can do. So, feel free to subscribe to Matt's And I'll probably list. send all of this stuff, too. I'll send all these files and things. I'll put it on my website, but I will also probably email it out to everyone on there. Okay, cool. The links to the prototypes and some of the stuff. All the files. Mm -hmm. All right. You throw me some pictures in the library? Yeah, I'm putting them in there now. All right. So essentially what I did, here's, here, they're in the library, by the way, right here. And then I also shared this folder with you. So we'll just go out here, Creative Cloud Files. In this folder called Mobile App is where I have something called Places. So I basically started putting All right, remind assets. me how I can open that folder quickly yeah. again. Yeah, go to assets. Assets. Go to files. Go to files. And then open folder. Oh. There we mobile go. Mobile app, there places. We go. There we go. I'm putting more in there as we speak, but uh, Sweet. give me a second. All right, so I'm just gonna grab all of these and dump them onto that image. Mm -hmm. There we there go. We go. <laughs> Not quite a valley, but that's okay. Uh, I should really match that up, but uh, you know, we'll we'll not sweat it right now. That's right. All right. Leave those there. All right. I actually want to check. Some Welcome, Pauline. Welcome, Joseph. So, yeah, eSoto. So, basically, this is uh, currently you're working at sort of your iPhone X resolution. And uh, we can output these graphics at the end of the day at sort of different high DPI resolutions, things like that. Uh, but this is for a specific screen. So, that's kind of where that's at. Yeah, and I always recommend like working on the device that you have. It's easier to mirror on your device that you have rather than designing for the 8 Plus or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, how do you deal with like responsiveness when it comes to an app? Like how do you, I, how I do like you to, deal for... I like with? to go with like the 375 width, which is iPhone 6, 7, 8, and then... Usually the, the way that like iOS is developed, it's kind of all stretchy by itself. So it's it's really only changing maybe 50 pixels on each side. So you should be able to hand developers, you know, the, the kind of median size and, and it's kind of self-explanatory in terms of what should happen. So it's usually not that necessary to design the 320 tiny like iPhone SE and the eight plus sizes. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah, so, but you're dealing with like the extremes almost, right? Is that the case? I usually design for like the middle. Okay. And if it, if something is going to be a little more extreme, then I might have like a one-off screen that shows like what should happen in that scenario. But for the most mm -hmm. part, um, designing on like the, the iPhone 8 size, which is like 375 by 667, it's really the same width as this. This one just has a taller, you know, viewport, so it's mm -hmm. not that much different. Yeah, and it wouldn't in this case doesn't doesn't change the layout at all. 
All right, let's take a look at this. Mitch Smith, you're just reminding you to do a command S at regular intervals. Thank you. Yeah, command <laughs> S. Did it. Saved it again. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's kind of a thing. Yes. Parlay Chateau. I don't know what that is. I like the, na the idea of an autocorrect place. You know, you're just always correct there. But how boring would that be, huh? How about if you're instead always of the or correct? The Oracle Temple, I'll call this the autocorrect temple. Ah, okay. But you could say, like, always being correct is kind of boring. Like, if we were always all correct all the time. There's a movie about that. It's pretty funny. I feel like there should be. I think it's got Jack Black. I don't know. It's, a, mm -hmm. it's been a while. 25 minutes to submit your contest, your submission. Just make sure you're linking screens together. Matt's gonna be doing that. Matt's trying to actually win uh, Creative Cloud as well. So travel to Utopia could be really anything. Could be a teleportation app, could be you're flying there and you gotta get around these different planets. Uh, but just submit that prototype. There's a share button in Adobe XD. Just hit that button and uh, that's how you can enter to win. So, yeah, talk room Pleasantville, that's good. So, we'll check the, the spreadsheet, if you will, in a second and see who's submitted what for traveling to Utopia. Hmm. <laughs> Autocorrect, control Z. We're doing lots of, uh, we'd easily get into like a bunch of nerd computer puns before long. And that's okay. All right. Yeah, so the op opposite of utopia is dystopia, which is, you know, where there's lots of fighting and stuff, where you don't want to live. So if you are developing a prototype app, maybe you pass by dystopia. That could be a place in the future, who knows. So uh, if I'm not mistaken there, Adobe Live team, I don't think we have any submissions yet. So there is a 100% chance you would win if you meet the criteria, assuming we ended the contest right now and you submitted yours. Nobody's entered yet. No one has. So your odds are looking really good right now is what I'm saying. The base of Michael Shays. What's up, Tim Aldridge in the house? Good to have you here, man. How do developers achieve the same dark look of the map while keeping it interactive like the Google Maps? We'll achieve the same dark look because it's the future and we can do what we want. That's right. Is that okay that I say that? Yeah, and I, there are there are some ways you can manipulate Google Maps and Mac, map box. There's different maps that have APIs where you can you, they have like a big JSON file where you can you can give hex codes for different things. Mm -hmm. um, this is definitely just a placeholder, but there is there are ways that you can manipulate that. Okay, well, that's good to know. Some APIs you could use to manipulate maps. So we could use the color. I think we've 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 
we've went with some gone with some new colors. We could always change them later. Uh, looks like he's added a gradient, which might be a little bit different from uh, the um, uh, the palette uh, that's in the creative brief. And I think that's I okay. added like a lighter color of the purple. That's really the only. Okay. And I added a dark color too. We could we can change this out. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, and the, the the great thing is is like so add that color by the way. You could do a number of things. I know you're duplicating this a lot. You could either turn that into a symbol or you could actually have the color as a global color. So yeah, with these that, are all totally already global colors. Let's check. Is it out. that a gradient though? Well, the gradient isn't a style yet, but I could Oh, that's what I was saying. Like you could even even in the global colors, you can have that global color be a gradient too. Oh, right. I forgot you could do that. Yeah. It's kind of nice. So, yeah, just okay. add it. There's a gradient. As long as you. And then I'll use also that. make this thing. This hey. will be a symbol. So I can. Evan Abrams just walked in, everybody. Good to see you, man. A little motion design here in about 50 minutes. He's going to blow your minds with motion. And then we'll put it back together because you could do that with animation and stuff. So a lot of After Effects. You can find him online, and uh, it's good having you here, man. We got the we got the all stars in this week, which is really fun. From from UI into motion into graphic design and illustration, this is really fun. We got the pros. It's nice, except for when it comes to saving. You know, you're not going to live that down for a long time. I'm just messing with you. We've all Command been there. Us. Command us. Hey, uh, the lesson we're learning today, everybody, Laura and um, Mitch and Evan, is to Command S, save. Luckily, After Effects has autosave, which is good. Yeah, save early, save often. That's right. In the future, does it have save? Is the save even exist? Maybe it always is saving under the hood. Yeah. All right, uh, full fridge bridge. So just to recap, um, the deadline's in about 15 minutes, we'll say. Well, about about 20 minutes, easily at 12.30 for submitting your apps. Maybe a little bit of leeway there, but we can't have like 50 designs come in at the last minute because it doesn't, doesn't uh, respect you your designs that you submit. We need to have time to review your content. So you have, to, you have about 20 minutes to enter your design into the contest, which is about traveling to Utopia. Utopia is a magical place where everybody gets along, and as soon as you land on Utopia, it's like you just get, have this, this feeling of warmth, like you just got a hug. There's double oxygen. You could jump really high. You can also teleport different places, and what Matt's working on is an app for getting around because it's also scanned either your retina or it just it knows plenty about you at this point That's right. uh, to be able to recommend places that are in your vicinity or at least close by. So if you it knows in the morning that you like nitro coffee or that in the afternoon that you like candy, so it might recommend going to Candy Mountain. That's right, Evan. We're having fun today, man. We are having fun. Hopefully that works for you, Donnie. Donnie, are you new here? Always curious. If you are new, we really appreciate you. Just to give us a shout out. Be like, hey, I'm new. And we'll give you like a virtual hug. Is the uh, best we can do right now. Virtual high five, virtual, virtual hug, high whatever. Yeah, I like it. Candy Mountain. Pillow Willow. <laughs> Hugs for everyone. Oh, say so, so, Mitch Smith. Okay, Donnie Merrill introduced you to a li this uh, live stream. That's good to know, man. Good to hear. I haven't, Donnie. I don't think we've met, and I would actually love it. I know, I know this is a tough one, but it would be just awesome if we actually could, like, take this on the road and go to Athens, Georgia. We could. Just right from your living room. We should do it. <laughs> With all your kids just like running around. That's right. Climbing on you. Giving great. you their opinion. 
They're like, yeah, we want to go to Candy Mountain. <laughs> but it would be great to take this on the road because we see all these, we know all these people by name, but haven't met you in person. So Kendra, that'd be fantastic. Laura would love to go to Bogota. But you know, Colombia is my favorite place in the world. So I, there I said it. I always say that when people say Colombia. All right, maybe we can add a little interactivity to this thing now. So again, we're using Adobe XD. This is, we've actually had uh, an update to Adobe XD, but this is 1.0 version, which the latest version, I like the assets panel, how everything's automatically global. Even in Illustrator, when you save a color now, it automatically, save a swatch color, it will automatically have the global color checkbox selected. Yeah, that's nice. Introvert Avenue. It should be like introvert, like road in the middle of nowhere. Um, <laughs> that's right there. Did, where did you grow up? In a very small town called Louisville, Georgia. Louisville, Georgia. Somebody was trying to place your accent. I used to have much words. more a much thicker southern accent, but I guess not being there for a long time, it slowly went away, but there's still hints of it around, and so it, people think, like, is that a southern accent a little bit? I don't feel like I have one, but a lot of people pick up on it. You, I, f I feel like you do, but I do I? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's tough to say. You could argue that everybody has an accent, but technically, if you wanted a non-regional ac American accent, uh, which doesn't even make any sense, by the way, <laughs> but if you wanted to speak uh, like American English without a regional accent, they would sample for, they sample from Colorado and uh, Michigan. So mm. if you went to, if you wanted to be a news anchor, you'd go to school in Colorado and then there's a school in Michigan. So you're not learning a regional dialect. Makes it easy to go from coast to coast. So now you know. The more you know. Yeah. Ooh, the uh, Yashai Sutton. How did you do the blur up there? Did little you do a little background it? blur right here? It's just a simple little checkbox right over here. Zoop. Background blur, and then you can play with the blur strength if you want to play with the darkness. Mm -hmm. Or the light, the brightness, and then you have your uh, opacity down there. Love that. Ah, Jamie, I'm from Colorado. Jamie Riley, I'm also in Colorado. Denver. Denver area. Specifically Aurora. Specifically Southeast Aurora. Specifically Nova Circle. Now it got weird. Okay. Everybody tell us where you're from exactly. Your address. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to make where this, where you tap this map, we're going to take you to this screen. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. We'll teleport there. Sure. We'll teleport. Oh, yeah. John Eric's from uh, Oslo. We would teleport there. We teleport to Troy, New York. Uh,. Flamouth, Virginia. So this is really cool. Lehigh. There's an Adobe Munich. office in Lehigh. There is. Have you been there? No, yeah. I haven't. Okay. It's it's massive and awesome. They have like volleyball courts. I did a presentation from. I look up and it turns out the the big room we were using. I was that I was doing the presentation in was actually an indoor basketball court. Nice. And I was like, that is sick. Logan, Utah, north of there. Okay. I did a Spartan race up uh, in, in that part of Utah. <sighs> Miami, LA in the house. Donnie, don't put your exact address. We don't need to know. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm going to get in legal trouble <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> All right, let's link these up here. So go back here. Okay. Now we'll go back there. 
just like a very quick little preview here. So thinking like you could and actually let's even make this. Oh, somebody from India. Here. Good to see. Baron Kia, Colombia on the on the coast. But you live in Sydney. Okay, gotcha. This is fascinating. Bulgaria. I love this. Oh, that's this Donnie put the Simpsons address. Nice. Clever. Guys, what what are your social security numbers? No, don't do it. <laughs> but that's the thing. I think in the future, this app probably knows some more about you than you know about you. That's kind of hard to see, but maybe we'll, uh, yeah, we'll I'll tweak it some more. Yeah, brighten it up a little bit. If you, this I mean, who am I? You're the, you're the man. No, Got to get that feedback. Uh, Pankaj might win uh, for it being the latest at night or earliest in the morning. It's almost 2 a.m. there. Afghanistan, Stan, the, the, crea the crea show is from Afghanistan. All right, so we click this thing and we'll go to like full, full screen. Full, okay, map. nice. Back. We need to change Sweet. that uh, transition there. So we don't want to slide. We'll just do like a dissolve. Uh, uh, Ina's from Helsinki, Finland. Yes, winter is coming. Winter's probably there. That's where winter goes to vacation is in Helsinki, Finland. I've been there. It's cool. San Diego's where summer goes to vacation. St. Diego. Yeah, San Diego. <laughs> All right. Um, ah, Herbert has the best line anyway, saying Experian already gave away America's social security numbers. Best comment of the, of the day, Herbert. So the key is it does need to be in Adobe XD. So that's what Matt is using. You can... All you need is an Adobe ID and you can actually download it, uh, publish a link. It's just the clicking the button and the link some screens together, publish, use that publish button up there. Right now your chances are fantastic because I don't have any entries yet. Can and I, I know that can sounds discouraging, one? but everybody's waiting till the very last minute. That's what's happening. So everybody waits till the very last minute. So I'm sure people are working on things. And uh, check the rules in the, con in the contest tab and use that URL right there to get the rules and all that fun stuff. And we're to submit to your link. It was 90 degrees in San Diego for Thanksgiving. I have a friend who actually spent her Thanksgiving there, so it must be nice. Tim, thanks so much, man, for helping out and joining us. I will have to, yeah, we'll have to, uh, I'll connect with you. Just, you should send me a message on Twitter and I will message you back with an answer to your question. The bottomless bottle bar. <laughs> yeah. I think some people will not remember going there. <laughs> Previous artboard. Uh, right. Chamey, yes, you're right. Perfection. This is what people are doing. I think people are waiting for the very last minute. So this is what we're going to do. This is we're going to have a cutoff of, we're going to say 1235. Exactly. 1235 is when our cutoff is going to be. That gives you a little bit more time. It says on, as you can see, Matt's clock there says 1224. So you have 11 minutes Ooh, I like what's, I love how, and you can keep doing that by the way, don't let me bother you, but like you can see how the colors are changing since you have this connected by USB, which is pretty cool. Throwing that green color is kind of nice too. 11 minutes, per, the perfectionists are using every single minute.
I just think this is such a fun week, Matt. Thanks for being here, man. I know you had to travel. You have to travel all across the – fly over almost every state That's to right. get here. We started up and just kind of zigzag over just, every state. It was a very weird route, get there. but che- tickets were so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> they were. It was like the – regional bus here if a, a plane has like making every single stop so good good question Clint uh, can you fully develop an application in XD the answer is you can fully prototype you can app. fully design and prototype it but it's not going to give you any code it's going to be kind of like what you ha- what you would hand to a developer or a development team and say, this is what it should look like. This is how the flow should work. Um, I don't have this working fully yet, but even just being able to send them, send a developer this screen and say, oh, you know, when you tap the map, it should go full screen and you can go back. When you hit teleport, it should go to the teleport screen. So it's definitely not creating any code, but it's, you know, giving a good framework for what should happen during the actual app. Yeah, it's like it solves uh, the idea is, yeah, it's just kind of like answering all the questions, solving all the problems before you go into actual development. Uh, yeah, Paul Van Summeren. Uh, we will have Jason Levine up with Evan Abrams. So this is really fun. I think this is awesome. We've got Jason here. We have Kathleen here. Uh, Evan, Shauna X, Christine Heron, all the rock stars. I'm kind of jealous of Shauna's last initial, uh, just like name, like Shauna X. Yeah. It just is awesome. Much cooler than <laughs> what I'm working with. <laughs> you jealous of her branding? Yeah. Shauna X. Can I change mine to like? You can be. Matt I actually named my this my Matt. this phone is MDS X. Oh, really? The 10 and the X. Oh, I like it. So maybe I could use that. Do you want us, if we, you want us to start calling you something else, we can. This is in the future. So That's right. You can be a new person on Utopia. Yes, that is good. Mm, let's change that to go. So Paulina, Pauline, sorry, uh, the test view, uh, it basically publishes out to your URL, and there will be hotspots. Um, I should probably open up an app. I don't have anything right now. Um, not yet. Hold on, let me grab. Let me open up something that I've created. In fact, let's try to go to something more baked. Open up. All right, yeah, let's just switch to me real fast, if you don't mind. So this is, yes, it's not Utopia. It's the closest thing to Utopia here in the US, which happens to be Colorado 14ers. Uh, But essentially, I'm in this prototyping area, and this is where I've linked all these screens together. So if I want to link this, any one of these, or even this this logo to the second screen it's just a matter of clicking and dragging and it will link it and then what happens is you will publish a prototype we could talk about design specs i'm going to show that to you actually matt uh let's just actually open this link hopefully it's oh yeah i actually removed it anyway so that's what you do and actually it's um Actually, a series of JPEGs with hotspots, and that's what's essentially happening. That's how you click through all of these screens. So hopefully that that helps. Uh, what also is happening here is like you can allow for comments. So even as we get these submissions in, we're going to be able to comment on them uh, right within the browser. And uh, what I'm also going to show is uh, the here we go. This is essentially, this is what you'll get. Here's the app, you can open this up. I can add comments saying, hey, 
This is fantastic, right? Because that's what I do with my own work is just comment about how great my, my own stuff is <laughs> to help me. Like, But you can see everything works functionally just fine. So, All right. And, oh, yeah, I'm going to do one more publishing thing right in here because this is brand new and I think you'll appreciate this right up here publishing design specs so when you start oh, yeah. to yeah so you know about this yeah I'll show it to you create a public link so you can export out all of the graphics out of XD ping JPEG you know SVG whatever you need at different resolutions for high DPI images and uh but what this published design specs does is, in fact, I should look at this, like design specs. Look, this is, this is what I get in the browser. So I'm able to see how everything's linked up visually, which is really yeah, nice. Yeah, those rollovers like for the flow, that is pretty clutch. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And then as I come in here, I can see as I select this text, the positioning, the size, the font, just all the details of what you'd expect. This is in beta right now, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a lot of development in this area when it comes to design specs. And done with commercial. But I had to tell you about that. It's brand new. Brand spanking new. All right, if we're gonna if we're gonna teleport, what are what are our options for teleporting here. We need a location. Maybe um, like, uh, do we need anything besides location? Could you pre pre schedule a teleportation event? Like teleporting <laughs> in ten minutes. And then if you forget, you just kind of. I know. I mean, forget. Like, as somebody's handing you some coffee or something. That's right. Then you disappear. Uh, yeah, I think set location. Is there a map that exists here? Because do I want to kind of like zoom out and point to the top of a mountain? Do mm -hmm. I always have to use a text field? Or um, you could use both. Or a list. Like even a, any of those places we can teleport to. So I don't know. Select location. We need a. I need a cooler map. Maybe uh, maybe when if Evan does his floating island or something like that, I can uh, I can take that in here and then we can. Use that as... Oh, the island? Oh, yeah, you want... Do you need an image? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. Well, like, this is a placeholder map for now. Mm -hmm. Like, later on, maybe it's, like, a much cooler, more interactive map. Um, uh, I'm going to make sure you have some good images, though. So, uh, tele... Uh, teleportation is instant. You can actually, you can, that's the premium version, or you can go with basic. And when you select basic teleport, you do have to sit through a bunch of ads, yeah. a bunch of commercials before you actually land at your destination. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fun. <laughs> that's just the, the basic teleportation service. Yeah, this is teleportation beta. Yeah. Like maybe you, the upper half of your body appears before the lower half of your body. <laughs> it right. just makes for very awkward conversations. and They're only talking to half of you. I'm like, I swear I'm wearing pants. <laughs> just kidding. Were we supposed to wear <laughs> pants to this? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't stand up, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Our, that's the big question is whether or not we're, we're wearing pants. <laughs> maybe. Of course, in the future, we're all wearing the onesie. That's right. <laughs> we're just wearing the, the, the one. The black unitard. <laughs> we're just wearing the one unitard, the skin tight. You like, yeah. <laughs> That's the question of the day. Are we wearing pants? All right, you have one minute to get in your prototype. And your odds are looking fantastic. You have to admit, this is harder than, so Shauna's, hers was like make an illustration. This is actually prototyping something in an hour and a half. So that's, that's, that's a tall order. It's tricky to come up with the fake features and then design against it while you're trying to think about it. <sighs> right? 
I'm almost thinking now, like, maybe there shouldn't be a teleport button. You should just choose any one of these locations, and then there's, like, a teleportation option. I think so. You don't have to choose teleport and then go in. It's almost like there's all of the places. You can mm -hmm. choose it and see all about it, or you can just say, like, send me there. Yeah, I like that. Because we're already creating the ability to see things on a map, and we're already creating a list of items on the planet. Mm -hmm. If we choose a teleportation button and then it takes us to a new screen where you can search through a map and search through a list of items, it just becomes a little more redundant. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. a little too redundant. So a lot of times... We almost need a like a, a screen that talks about, uh, you know, the forever spring and stuff yeah, like we need that. Yeah, we need a location detail screen is what we yeah, need. Yeah, location detail screen. All right, so I'm gonna, I like to have a little UI graveyard going on in my document. So I'm just gonna copy the, the teleportation screen over here. Hit Command S while I'm thinking <laughs> about it. And move it's the one thing we've up. learned today. You know, it's always, half the time it's almost like you're just relearning the, the it's all about the fundamentals and the That's right. save. You know. All right. Let's so, uh, Big Buddha, the Mac only is live. Yeah, it's live preview. I th Mac only, but you can actually save your XD file to your Creative Cloud Files folder and then preview it that way. So there are options for uh, a Android, but uh, not the live preview exactly. Oh, Jamie, so you just, you did a design, you're going to post your Behance profile, send it to us, we want to see what you made, by the way, so let us know what you made, we'd love to see it, I'd love to hear if, uh, you know, people are new to the stream, I'd like to know kind of where you found out about it, and I uh, just want to give you a warm welcome, and if it's your first time designing something, yeah, all about it. So, if you're in the chat, hopefully you're on behance.net forward slash live. In the chat area is where you're talking to us. There's the contest tab is what we're referring to right next to it. All right. So, this Temple of Infinite Kittens, although it's a great name, it's super This is long. good. It's super long. Not everything's going to have a, a short name, so you kind of... You have to design for... Oh, and by the way, I see what you just did there, by the way. So s select that select that second item right down right over here. That will change from point text to area text. Uh -huh. So you can actually change the text field. I did not know that. That must be a new little thing. It is. That is handy. All right, cool. Ah, James, that's good to hear. It says his brain's having way too much fun. That's good. I think we're happiest when we're learning. I bet you, I'm sure there's there could be studies out there on that, but I think we're happiest when we're learning. I think so. I learned autosave uh, is not a thing. You know, I'm happy about all that. <laughs> oh, autosave. All right, Temple of Infinite. Is there like a great kitten image? Oh, let me find one. That we could use? I'll start putting some information on it. <sighs> Temple of Infinite Kittens. Maybe maybe we could, later on, we could Photoshop like a kitten on top of like the all-seeing eye pyramid kind of thing. It's like a kitten's head on top of a pyramid with the like. Oh yeah, because it is a temple. Eyeball. I like this one. We could just like, if, if you weren't happy a second ago, you are now. I mean, first off, I mean, come on now. Look at this guy. Yeah, who's, who's, who's loving life? Who's loving life? Yeah, that's right. This is probably the cheapest way to get smiles is just show a bunch of kittens. But in this totally works with what we want. We want, ooh, this is kind of cute. I might do this one. You know, this is, yeah, they're, they're pretty snuggly. And 
Yeah, so you can drag and drop text files right into XD. You can drag and drop images. That's what Matt's gonna do. I just actually just like synced this to the Creative Cloud library. He actually has this right now. Yep. Uh, it, should have, it should appear at the top. There you are. Boom. And see how it's linked? Got the little green I'm, link icon. Yeah, and you can always break that. If you decide to break it and mess with it some more, you, you have that uh, capability. And this is fascinating. This is what's really smart about what's going on behind the scenes, because I purchased the image and you didn't, which is why it says Adobe Stock. <coughs> Sorry, oh. my friend. I'll have to give it to you a different way. Because we have a corporate license. We're not doing anything shady, but if I can always give you this. In the... So I might do like a giant image background with these kittens. Let's see, I'll just test it out here. I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, Jamie, that's right. So what she likes about this live stream that it's interactive and that's like the whole idea is just to be able to chat with you, Matt. And that's right. And talk about kittens with you. And it's been helpful to us typically. Uh, just because we learn a, a lot about, we get to tap into this collective sort of brain of the community, which That's is right. where all these names came from, which is where the Temple of Infinite Kittens came from. Adorable. I put the licensed image in the in the desktop folder. Oh. Just so, you know. Kittens. Yep. So you can just drag and yeah, there you go. Look at that. Big Buddha, good, good point. Cropping options, so you can crop an image. He could have also made a container, sort of drawn a box. Which is definitely a, a better way to do it. This is, I'm kind of uh, all over the place here. No, you're draw good. A box. You're trying to do it as fast as you can. You have, you have 10 minutes left. All right, let's do it. While you work on that, don't switch to me just yet, but we will, I need to check on entries because your time is up for submitting a prototype on traveling to Utopia. Utopia. Where there happens to be a temple of infinite kittens. Which has to be the best thing ever. All right, I don't know if this is a thing, but I'm almost certain that kitten ipsum exists. <laughs> Cat oh, Ipsum. it has to, yeah. Cat Ipsum. So this is just placeholder text. Lorem <laughs> Ipsum is your kind of standard placeholder text. So this is going to be Cat Ipsum. Do you have a uh, favorite Ipsum? I don't, you find I don't use a lot of Ipsums. I like to use real content as much as possible, but uh, when I am under the gun, I'll use Cat Ipsum. It's probably my Ipsum of choice. Gotcha. Uh, hipster Ipsum is pretty good. All right, we will review these designs. Uh, let me just do this one more thing. So I want to hide the names and cool. Yeah, let's check out some of these entries. What we have uh, first up is we have Nicole Anderson's. Hers was the first in. Thank you so much, Nicole. You can see this entry from Adobe XD. Utopia, find your perfect utopia today. Sounds good, let's explore that. Clicking in here, Unicorn Isle, Hawaiian Paradise, Dragon Rider. Oh. Ooh, that's a good one. Love to ride a dragon. And Perfect Kittens, oh I love it. Let's go down into Unicorn Isle. We can see, again, a detail screen kind of what what you're working on as well. All right. 
Man, Nicole, you are good. I love it. 609 people like it, and 120 people don't have souls. Because <laughs> they were not fans. <laughs> Next up, we have Anandu. Anandu Bees. Candy Mountain. It's sunny out there. Here's Autocorrect Temple. <laughs> Partly cloudy is the weather there. <laughs> so it's sunny out here. I love this. I love actually how he has included the weather here. Partly cloudy at Autocorrect Temple. Uh, Valley of the Autosave. Rainy with chance of thunderstorms. And these are all our different screens. So they did... Uh, probably didn't get into too many specifics, but essentially there are three screens right in here as I click through these, and then I can actually go through this way. So, uh, great stuff. This is good. Uh, we also did get an entry from Glenn, but I don't think it's made with XD, so I can't really kind of pick this apart. But Glenn, we did get yours. I just don't know what type of file format this is. Do you know? Did he send the uh, like a Dropbox link or something? This is a Google Drive... So I think what happens is Google Drive doesn't is not necessarily supporting XD, so it's bringing in the raw pieces because it looks like it is an XD file, but maybe he should have put it in a like right clicked it and zipped it mm. before he put it in Google Drive. That way, I've had that happen with other design documents. Okay, so I'll have to see what I can do. Oh yeah, you're right. So I was able to. I'll I'll, I'll open this up, and again, it's not quite the correct type. Here's the actual file. Nice color scheme. I like it. Chocolate Valley. Hey, why not? And it looks like there's three screens. So thank you so much, Glenn, for submitting this. Doesn't quite have it all con connected, but we are able to look at it. And uh, let's take a look and decide which one we like. If we could just go to Matt's screen, if you don't mind. Just going to check one last time. Yep. All right. I'm ready to let's pick a winner, shall we? Let's do this. So essentially we have three. We don't quite have all these screens connected. Uh, Glenn, wherever yours is, yours is fantastic. Thank you so much for submitting yours. Um, here it is. He's still working on it. You can always enter tomorrow. The theme might be a little bit different, but it's still going to be about Utopia. So you could still finish this design tomorrow. So thank you so much, Glenn. Uh, we also have Nicole Anderson's, which is... Traveling to Utopia, clicking through Unicorn Isle. Of course, I want to go there. And then we have Anandu's as well, which goes through uh, the different places you can explore. Candy Mountain, Autocorrect Temple, Valley of the Auto Save. So out of these two, Matt, I'm sorry to take you away. All right. We got... <laughs> We have this one, which again, this one kind of starts out right here. Utopia, we can explore this. Unicorn Isle, so you have these interactions as I click through. Almost like this sort of real world yep. scenario, which is nice. Uh, this one here from Anandu goes through just like three different places. Autocorrect Temple, Valley of Autosave, Candy Mountain. Which right. one do you think... I think I might have to go with uh, the one over there, right? This one? Yes. I think I'm going to go with that one just because All it shows right. a little more, a couple different screens. Mm -hmm. They got more done than I did, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just showing, like, the different sections, different screens. I think that's... I think, I think you're right. I think this is a good... This is perfect. Things have been thought out. And actually, she even wrote some things. She, she did a lot of the details in here. So congratulations. This goes to Nicole Anderson. Congratulations, Nicole Anderson. You win Creative Cloud for a year. Wow. Yeah, Creative Cloud member gets added to your subscription. So congratulations. There you are. Yay. Thank you. Good to see that. Nicole, good job. Your odds were probably the best we've ever had. 
Ooh. Is this just because? Or for... Huh. Oh, that's right. Got it. So that's really cool. Sweet. What time is it? 12. We're winding down. We probably have like three minutes or so. Something like that. Matt's still working on his design, which is looking fantastic. Um, you might still be working on this later after the stream, and you can gladly do that, but you could do it in comfort with these fantastic wow. Adobe XD socks. I get two yes. of them. He gets two of I them. I get two. Assuming you have two feet, we haven't seen you below the waist at all. We don't even know if you're wearing pants, but you do have two socks. That's just going to be between you and me, Paul. <laughs> it got really weird in here. <laughs> but thanks, Matt. Thanks for hanging out I'll with us. I'll put them on my hands. And you can put them on your... Where you, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, dude, you... Actually, good job, Nicole. Uh, great job to Glenn and Andu as well. You guys all did a fantastic job. And, of course, to you, Matt. You did this twice, by the way. This is looking really good. You can totally tell, again, being the pro that you are, knocking this out... Yeah, I very I'm sorry that it crashed. It's out of my control. No, man. Get further along tomorrow it's as well. It's all good. Yeah, our client's gonna, our real client's gonna be so upset. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, we will try to get a hold of more XD socks. Just like stay tuned. Every week we're giving away stuff, and uh, chances are they are fun things like that. Fun things like the art director here. And uh, just make sure you hang out. We're kind of winding down, man. How you doing? We're doing good. I I definitely don't feel like I got as far as I wanted to, but um, look at how look at how awesome this looks. Can can we hear this, Herbert, Laura, Elena? Yeah. This is looking like really good, man. I don't care what you say. You're just like, oh, I wish, blah blah blah. <laughs> Dude, it's looking good. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And we could even kind of continue this. What's the plan tomorrow? Will we continue this? Yeah, maybe? I think I think I might do a little bit of tweaking to this, but the plan would be to like let's get into what it would. We'll go into the teleportation mode. Mm -hmm. We'll do our little like progress countdown timer from. You can only teleport every four hours, and then start maybe looking back at some of the assets that Shauna and Evan and mm -hmm. Christine. Yeah. Yeah. See Again. What, and see if we can maybe do a yeah. new color scheme, see how we can bring it all together. Bring it all together would be awesome. So that's really cool because we do have the one and only Evan Abrams up next. Yes, doing motion design. Amazing things with Jason Levine, who's also just walked in as well. So uh, we're winding down. I don't really have two minutes to go. Oh, we have about a minute. So this is good. So I'm going to link up. Temple of Infinite Kittens. Miriam, thank you so much. Uh, I don't know if you learned so much from him. Hopefully you're talking about uh, Matt, who's still working away, linking objects that together. So this there. is exciting. Slide right. <laughs> I feel like the stream's just going to cut. You're still working. We're still working away. But thank you so much, Pankaj. I uh, appreciate that. It says he learned a lot. Great job, Matt, from Mendy Gee. Nice. Everybody's saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Kelsey, thank you so much for your time. As a professional with four kids, came here actually with his wife uh, in, here in San Francisco. So just, you can go ahead and look up from your screen now. And guess what? There were all these people stop. watching you. Oh my gosh. Look at, they're all watching you and there you are. So thank you, Laura, Jarenge, uh, Alejandra as well. Alejand Alejandra? Ale uh, Alexander. Alec oh, I don't know what's wrong Alexandre, with me. Alexander. I'm going to go with I was Alexander. looking at Triana. Okay, so thank you for everybody who's watching. Stick around because we See have motion tomorrow. design. Yes. I feel like it's fun. You get to learn about lots of different areas, all based on the same creative brief. And tune in tomorrow, 11 a.m. PST. And stick around. Evan Abrams up next. Thanks, everybody.